An innocent man killed in a police chase is being remembered tonight. Those who knew him best say he died just as he was working to reach his goals. Fox 6's Ashley Sears joins us live and explains the 30-year-old spent much of his time, Ash, giving back. Yes, Steph, Amari Smith volunteered at Repairers of the Breach. He was also in school to be a barber, and he often cut the hair of those at the shelter. It's a place where people frequently come and go. But there is one face that has been missed around here. He was a people's person. Amari Smith could often be seen behind the chair in the corner of the room at Repairers of the Breach, cutting the hair of those staying at the shelter. This is not just talk. He was on his way. He was on his way. Pastor James West mentored Smith for years, teaching him the importance of volunteering as the 30-year-old was studying to become a barber. You can't help but to think what, what would have been unleashed in him. Sunday night, it all came to a crashing halt. Smith was T-boned by a driver fleeing from police at 20th and Burleigh. To get that news, um, it's just devastating. Smith died at the scene. According to a search warrant, the fleeing driver was going 45 in a 30 mile per hour zone when police tried pulling him over. Instead, he took off and ran a red light. One bad decision can cause so much hurt and so much pain. It's a pain being felt by those who loved him. As the corner of the room sits quiet, the memory of Smith's generosity will not be forgotten. It's almost like it's not a reality yet that Amari is gone. The driver of that fleeing car was arrested on Sunday night. Charges are expected. Meantime, money is being raised for Amari Smith's funeral. We have more information on that on, in this story on fox6now.com. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. We've seen that video so many times now, and it doesn't get any less shocking. Ashley, thanks.